Hi, this is Tom from Tactically Suited, and today I'm going to show off some of our handmade uh, badge holders. These are made by our master leathersmith who's been doing this for close to 50 years. Uh, he's right here in the United States, right out of Tallahassee, and he does some amazing work. So, these two badge holders you see here are actually made for my badge that I wear every day. Uh, I got one in brown, one in black. Reason being, I've always been taught your shoes should match your belt. And really, if you're a cop, your, your belt should match your equipment color. You know, you don't see cops walk around out there with basket weave and nylon. Uh, it just doesn't look right. You know, I'm sure there's a few, but I like to have my stuff matched. So I've got a brown one for when I wear brown shoes. i got a brown holster, etc. I know, a little bougie, but you know what? I like to look good. I do own a suit company, so I have to look good. Uh, so we did one in brown. We did one in black, which is your standard color. And as you can see here, they both came out great. These are actually made with water buffalo. So if you see this nice grain right here, that's what you get from water buffalo. Um, the nice thing about water buffalo is it's actually stronger than cow leather. It's meant to last a very long time. It's more plentiful. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's, it's a really, really nice grain. I really like it. The other thing you'll notice about these badge holders is you've got the threading that goes right around the badge itself and around the border. Now the other brands that you find out there, they don't have that. So I'll give you an example. Uh, here's one that I wore for about two and a half years and you can see it literally just goes around the outside. There's nothing around the badge on the inside itself. Um, and the other thing you'll notice about this is that it's, it's actually separating. So like right here along the sides, you can see it's separating. It's literally just held there by an adhesive, whereas ours is actually held by uh, stitching. The other thing you'll notice is it's a uh, there's no grain really to this leather. Uh, it's it's a very soft leather, so over time it does wear out. Um, and as you can see here, like I said, you know it's separating here, and then on the back especially, we're going to talk about this clip. So let me show you our clip first. Our clip here, it's actually studded in place. It doesn't move around. It's very solid. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Here again, you have the nice stitching all the way throughout. It's a very, very uh, high strength thread. Now you'll see this little stitching here. We're gonna talk about that one in just a minute, but just wanna point out all these features here in the back compared to what you see here. So, like I said, I had this for about two and a half years. I would say that this part down here broke off after about six months. And what I'm saying about breaking off is this is more of a brand new one here. And you can see that this little tongue is actually under the leather. And that's the way it should look. But after you've worn it for just a short amount of time, you can see that that wears out very quickly and it breaks off. And it lets the clip flow and move around. Now, this isn't really a huge, huge issue for most people. Uh, it's just for me, it's just one of the things I noticed, and I noticed that I had to put a little bit extra effort to get this off my belt um, every day if I'm just going to pull it off, pull it, push it down by the clip. Uh, so I ended up just having just to run my belt through it and not worrying about it at that point, but I really shouldn't have to do that. If I buy something, it should be quality. It should be something that's going to last. Um, but obviously, as you can see here, this one doesn't. And you can see here the, th the threading is very, very... It's a much thinner thread that's used and much cheaper construction compared to what we got here. Now, yes, this one is a bit bigger, but here again, you're, lo you're looking at something that's more handmade, that's quality made compared to this, which is more cheaply made. So the other thing you'll notice here is the grommets. So nice big grommets here if you want to run a uh, chain through it. If you look on the inside... You'll see how the grommets are in place. They're going. They're not going anywhere. They're held in place very well. Whereas these cheaper ones, they use very small grommet, and you can see over time, like this one's already starting to to push out. And I don't even wear a chain with these. This is just from from being on my belt. Um, so you, you can see the difference there. Now remember that stitching that I pointed out earlier that's on the back here. Well, let me show you what it's for. So on the inside here, we actually have a little pocket for your handcuff key. So if you happen to not have your keys on you, um, 
you don't have your handcuff key for whatever reason, or worst case scenario, you know, you're overpowered and uh, the suspect handcuffs you with their own handcuffs. I know it sounds silly, and but it does happen. Uh, here's an extra key just in case. I always am a firm believer in having at least one or two extra keys on me because you never know uh, when you're going to lose one. And having one here is just a great place to hide it. Um, it's a great place for it to be. And you know, no one's going to see it. The last thing I'm going to point out, the difference between the two, is the thickness of the leather. So here again, this is a, one of the cheaper brands that's out there. You can see here it's a very thin leather that they use. They slice this stuff really, really thin. And you can see on ours, it's actually very thick. Now, the reason we kept ours thick was because we want to last. The reason they keep theirs thin is because they slice these into very thin uh, pieces so they can make more of these. So they're, they're very cheaply made. And it's really a very thin, thin um, piece there. And just to give you an example of how thin they can make these, uh, this is actually a piece of, of hide that, uh, I believe this one's lizard, um, but you can see how thinly they can cut these pieces of leather. And literally, in this case, they cut them very thin and then they just shine them up. And it's really kind of like a paint that's on here. That's why you don't see a grain. Whereas here, you can see the grain you can see the thickness you know this isn't multiple layers that's cut to make this this is literally one piece of leather that made that made this whole piece up here and then the rest of the pieces are cut uh, based on that based on what's needed so these are not cheaply done and honestly I, I just like the style of it uh, I kinda like the bigger look myself this is very reminiscent of what you'll see in the older style FBI and, and, and Treasury Department and your Elliott Ness and your J. Edgar Hoover uh, time period of badge holders. They had these, these nice handmade badge holders. They weren't this mass produced thing um, that, you know, I, I believe these might have been made in the USA, but. You know, it's that quick manufacturing that's just made on a machine that just stamps these things out. Where this is actually handmade by a person who's been doing this for a very long time uh, and, and knows what he's doing. Um, and this is what's going to last, you know. These things, yeah, they can last a while, but they're going to start looking raggedy and nasty and everything else. These are going to last much longer, have a nice nicer look to it. And really, this type of leather, as you wear it over time, uh, it just starts looking better and better. Uh, as it progresses over time whereas this is just going to look worse and worse and that paint that they use will start wearing out uh, if you look on the back of this one for instance you can already see where it's wearing out right there it's just coming off and like I said it's literally just the paint that's put on here whereas this is the actual leather this is just dyed uh, for the color and just has that really nice look to it that nice strong clip um, nice quality construction product here so that's our badge holders once again this is Tom from Tackly Suited I hope you enjoyed please leave your comments below uh, let us know what you think um, we can make these for any badge we'll have directions on what to do how to send us the uh, information for your badge sizing uh, on our website and uh, we'll go from there and once again, if you ever have any questions, please just email us, let us know. We're more than happy to talk to you and help you out. That's what we do. Thank you and have a great day.